In this insane interview, billionaire and hip-hop artist Kanye West clearly stated that his mother was a sacrifice. I ain't taking no slice from nobody, it's God. It's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here, my mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah, I appreciate it. Michael you. Jordan, what about him? His dad, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. And a few years ago, well now an American singer-songwriter Bob Dylan stated on live TV that he struck a deal with the devil. Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. I, mean, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where um, I am now. Sh should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and then in a world we can't see. It is wickedness like this that the Bible warns us about. And millions of people around the world have fallen for Satan's deception and start to emulate this. Okay, number one, first of all, I'm not sacrificing nobody to get to a place higher than where I'm at. This is, uh, hold on, you... <laughs> Okay, so first of all, Kanye, I can't even say that you're crazy or you're going crazy because you lost your mom. You just t clearly said she was a sacrifice. <laughs> it's crazy how so many billionaires will literally sacrifice a loved one to get somewhere higher. Shouldn't you want to get in that place higher? Uh, should you want to get somewhere higher naturally so that way nobody will be sacrificed? But you can do something great for your mother. You can do something great for your son, your child. Like, that's crazy. You telling me this man, mother was sacrificed. Dr. Dre's son, Bill, Co well, I think I said Bill Cosby's son. <laughs> All right, man. Celebrities and even go as far as to idolize them. And they don't even know what some of them have done to get their fame and what they're currently doing to remain rich and famous. If your ultimate goal is to be famous, then you're gonna do a lot to get there. Like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil. That's how I got introduced to the music industry. I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out. And so I sold my soul to the devil. Well, needless to say, sold my soul. I swear to Lucifer. I sold my soul to the devil. Why is your hand over your eye? Because <laughs> I'm a devil worshiper. What are you talking about? That should not at all be surprising to you because it is what spiritually dead and blind people do in a world system influenced by Satan. And the most disconcerting part is that even professing Christians support these people. Instead of pleading with them and persuading them of the danger that they're in, you see people like T.D. Jakes and Joel Osteen hang out with them not for the sake of sharing the saving gospel of Christ but for vain reasons. For example, this is a photo of T.D. Jakes with pub that he was invited at his birthday celebration. I believe that it is time for Christians to understand that popular Christianity is unbelievable and accepting of everything both covertly and overtly that this world has to offer. An authentic biblical Christianity is unpopular because it draws a line of demarcation in the sand by the power and authority of Holy Scripture. We're in the family of God. We don't love the world or the stuff in the world. Do not love the world nor the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If the love of the Father is in you, you can't love the world. Amen to that, by the way. But um, I know that you know I I, I wanna I wanna be somewhere in life so I can be able to you know do things for my but bro. It's crazy to me to hear all these big celebrities say that they sold their soul to the devil. Now I done heard people say these type of things that celebrities do, but bro, this is really what's in the industry to get famous in the industry to get big in the industry. You have to sell your soul over to the world, to the devil with to the devil and his demons. In order to get into a place that you never was before. All because you want some quick money. Do y'all not realize that the money that we have right now is not going to go to us in the afterlife? It's not. It's not going to go heaven, hell. It's not going to go nowhere. So all this money that y'all want to make now. Y'all want to sell y'all soul over to devil. Y'all want to do this. Y'all want to do that. All these type of things. It's not going to follow you into the afterlife. The only thing that's going to follow you into the afterlife is literally your spirit. What's inside of you. That's what's going to leave. Okay, the flesh not even coming with it's what's gonna it's what's inside you that's gonna leave, bro. And y'all really over here selling y'all soul to the devil. 
And then you got big pastors. Big. This is why so many people don't want to become Christians because so many Christians are hypocritical. You got Christians that's telling you not to do this and not to do that, but they're doing the same things themselves. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I was literally, I have done that so many times where I tell somebody not to do this, but then I end up doing the same thing that I told them not to do. Hypocritical. But then you got other Christians out here that's hanging around with these people that sold their soul to the devil to get this quick fame. But instead of spreading the word to them, instead of spreading the gospel to them, what they do is they hang around with them to benefit themselves. When they should be helping them and telling them, like, this is not the way to go. This is not the path you should take. <laughs> Man, I... I'm still on the Kanye West situation. I'm still on that. I'm sorry, y'all. That, that just threw me off by far. I mean, seriously. The word of God says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what concord has Christ with Belial? And what part has he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. Anyone who has not repented of their sin and put their faith in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior is an unbeliever. And they are on their way to hell. And our sole responsibility as Christians is to win them over to Christ. Win them over to the kingdom of God by the preaching and proclamation of the gospel of Jesus Christ in both our actions and service. Anything else but that is subject to compromise. The Bible tells us in 1 John 2 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. What is the price of a soul? No one in the financial industry or Wall Street or the stock market can ever begin to fathom what a soul costs. I sold my soul. Yes. <laughs> Let it come up. Let that come all the way up. Let's tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I sold my soul for what? How about a house, a car, a vacation? What? What? What did you sell your soul for? I sold my soul to have a life that I wanted that I never had. Yeah. Jesus said in Matthew 16 verse 26, What will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, yet forfeits his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? That is the question that no one but God, the creator of mankind, can answer. The soul of man is so precious that it took the holy and perfect begotten Son of God, Jesus Christ, to save and redeem man's soul. No amount of gold or precious diamond or riches in this world can pay for man's soul. So I ask again, what is the price of a soul? What you are seeing here is on mainstream TV on NBC, um, basic cable, Jack Black admitting that he sold his soul to the devil, as did many others. And this is not a joke. Please be sure to pray and please know how serious this is. And it was gone, dude. It, it was gone. gone. And then we just said, okay, let's just give up on that. Let's write a tribute to the greatest song. Okay, do a tribute. So, and okay. that became our, our like, yeah, number yeah. one The hit. tribute song is about saving souls from demons or something. Yeah. Like, does I remember correctly? Yeah, yeah. Now, what was, what was... Well, you know, there's a rich history of the devil in rock and roll. Right. 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 Way back to, like, Elvis was... Uh, was everyone said he's playing the devil's music? Uh, and uh, what was that great song? The devil went down to Joe. Joe. Oh, that's Charlie Daniels. Charlie Daniels. He he had some devil in there, and and it goes even back to before that. Who's Robert Johnson? Right. And you, you can find his roots, you know, way back to the beginning of rock. And and so you know, had, had we sold our soul to the devil? Uh, how else can you explain us being here on the right. yeah. 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 Uh, These two guys get on. And too. people laugh and clap. One more time. We sold our soul to the devil. Uh, how else can you explain us being here on the right, show? Yeah, 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 yeah. How do these two guys get on yeah. the show? I do not think that these celebrities in Hollywood and the music industry understand the price of a soul and even some professing Christians do not fully understand what a soul cost. The soul of man is so precious that Jesus Christ, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross, so that he may redeem men's soul from eternal damnation. I know that at times we may be thinking that we're not worth caring for, we're not important, we're not worth anyone's love or attention. I know some days we may feel less than depressed, anxious. Bro, I, 
I, bro, my mind just went to something else when I saw those knees. I thought that was some titties. I'm not gonna lie. I, my, I'm sorry. That that was so off topic, but that's literally, I, I swear, I was like, why is he showing it? But my bad. My bad. With anyone's love or attention, I know some days we may feel. Can't tell me you didn't think that was first glance. Just first glance, you're like, oh. Call me off guard and I just seen water call me off guard. less than depressed anxious and defeated but you are worth much more than you think and our soul is worth much more than the fame and riches that Satan promises to millions of people do not let go of your soul and give in to the lies of the devil the deception of Satan and the squirrel is so subtle and enticing that people will sacrifice that which is most dear to them and for what money fame status prominence and the vain glory of this world that is nothing but a vapor and Satan even tempted Jesus Christ by promising him the kingdoms of the world if he would just bow down and worship him. How could Satan promise to give Jesus Christ the kingdoms of the world when Jesus Christ is already reigning as king of kings and lord of lords? This is how cunning and deceptive the devil is. Oh, the deception of the devil is nothing but a big lie, my friend. All around the world, millions of people from different walks of life are now enslaved to Satan's lies and promises to give them prominence and fame in exchange for worship, in exchange for their soul. But if people would read the book and listen to the message, and if preachers would proclaim the living words that are in it, then it would reveal to those millions of people that are lost and enslaved to sin, enslaved in Hollywood, in the dark world of the music industry, that all of these things that Satan promised them in exchange for their soul and worship are nothing but vanity. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 says, Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. All things are full of weariness, a man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear feels filled with hearing. What has been is what will be and what has been done is what will be done and there is nothing new under the sun. The Bible instructs us to look at the world, its beauty, its riches, and all of the enjoyable things that are in it as temporal and momentary. But God is eternal. Jesus Christ is forever and our soul is worth more. I'm not gonna lie, this guy right here is really speaking facts, but I know a lot of y'all don't even want to hear the truth behind what this man is speaking about, but it's it's the truth. I mean, honestly, it's the truth. Like our soul is way more worth than just selling it for some for some uh what is the word I'm looking for? For some temporary fame. Like this this is all not gonna last. If I if I hit two million subscribers next year, bro, at the end of the day, don't two million, yes, it may mean something now, but when I die, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't even come with me. It's like I just worked for nothing. But in reality, I worked for something on earth. But then at the end of the day, you got to realize too, do you rather, would you rather work for something hard on earth or would you rather work for your internal life? Okay. Cause your soul, your spirit is going to last forever. That's going to be with you. For, that's going to last forever. So would you rather start getting treasure in heaven or would you rather just want the treasure on earth when you can't bring this treasure on earth with you to heaven or, or hell, whatever place you're going to? You know what I'm saying? If you're not a believer, then it's self-explanatory. But I'm just saying, though, you, you don't know. You, you seriously don't know. It's not, it's not coming with you. This guy is really speaking facts, man. Like, shout, shout out to him. Like, I, I clicked on the video because I, I seen something about just Kanye and mom was sacrificing. All types. I was like, wow, it's, it's crazy how many people sacrifice a loved one to get to where they at now. When that loved one can't even witness the joy. You know what I'm saying? Witness the joy that that person done did through our life much more than anything in this world. You might not have signed your name in blood. You might not have sacrificed a loved one for fame or money or status, but you must know that if your soul is not sealed by the Holy Spirit and anchored in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, then it is as if you have sold your soul just like the celebrities. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 1, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. If you don't know Jesus Christ, then you stand condemned and guilty of treason before a holy and righteous God. There is no lawyer that can and will plead your case for you. Eternal death and torment in hell is your only option and Satan is happy to hear that you are hopeless, empty, and condemned. But God, oh how wonderful for me, a wretched sinner to hear these two simple words and yet they transcend time and eternity. But God, being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our wrongdoings, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and 
raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. It is not the end of the story, my friend. You are not defeated by sin because Jesus Christ, through the grace of God, crucified sin at the cross so that you may have life by turning away from your sin, putting your faith in Jesus Christ. You don't need to stand guilty and hopeless. Jesus Christ has already won the victory for your soul at the cross. Even if you've signed your name in blood, struck a deal with the devil, whatever your situation may be, it is not too late because the cross of Jesus Christ stands as an eternal witness and rescuer to those who need rescuing. Today is the day of salvation and choose ye this day whom ye may serve. Will you sell your soul to the pleasures of this world and walk away from Jesus Christ forever? Or will you bow the knee to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in whom alone there is life, hope, joy and eternal bliss? And at this moment, I'd like to kindly extend an invitation to you to subscribe to the channel if you love and appreciate First off, I want to say, hey, man, shout out to this guy, okay? And number two, it's crazy that I see so many popular celebrities that I didn't think actually sacrifice. I mean, Kai is a Christian. I, maybe this was in his past life. I don't know when his mom died. I, I'm not really, you know, connected to the man like that. So I don't know when his mom died but or got sacrificed, should I say. But, I mean, it's crazy to hear that a lot of big celebrities, Lady Gaga, Rihanna, probably drake just so many different people that's mainstream artists or mainstream uh comedians mainstream uh actors actress they all sold their soul pretty much all of them sold their soul to the devil for some quick fame to get to a place faster quicker when it's not that serious it's not that deep i'm sorry me personally i just want to say myself because it's not that deep i know this life is temporary why do I need to go ahead and sell myself? It's not that serious, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.